Division I district wrestling at Perrysburg. Yellow Jackets, six wrestlers in the finals. 106 pounds, Cole Evans facing St. Ed's Adam Baller. Evans up one in the third, make it up two. He wins 6-3. Marcus Blaze, nationally ranked ninth grader, taking on St. Ed's Wyatt Richter, and it's all Blaze, a 13-2 major decision. How about his older brother, Joey, defending state champion? Yeah, he's headed back to Columbus. A tech fall win over Lyria's Connor Holm. All six Jackets win their weight class, although St. Ed's does take the team title. Jackets finish second, sending nine to the shot, including Miles Tackett's gutting out a tough 1-0 win at 165. Oh, yeah. I feel now, because last year I was a 26-pounder. La last year to this year, it feels very different. I feel like I'm coming to the top of my performance, especially for state. You know, I'm just, I, I'm very proud of them. I'm going to tell them I love them. You know, um... And, you know, just uh, just reinforce the, the, the belief, you know what I mean, that what they've been doing and what they've been putting forth, um, obviously it doesn't go unnoticed. And, um, you know, they, they could go down to Columbus. And it's going to be really fun. And it's always really fun when C.J. Perry and Ian Graham join us. Another week and another great performance for the Perrysburg wrestling team. This time it was at the districts. St. Ed's was in the house, Ian, this time. So the stakes were a little bit higher. Perrysburg went four for four against St. Ed's in the finals. Six champions overall. So how about those Perrysburg Yellow Jackets? What a total domination, you know, when you're competing against the best teams, not only in the state, but in the nation, and you go 4-0 in the championship against them. What a statement for the Jackets. Uh, you talk about Miles Tackett's and that gritty win, that 1-0 win against Bennett. They've tussled before they went head-to-head. -head. Tackett's won 3-0 at the state duels, but how about making 1-0 stand up tonight at the districts? Miles did a great job on his feet, was able to get the escape and then able to hold him down the whole third period with four massive mat returns. Some of our other local finalists, Cole McKinley did not fare so well after winning in the sectionals, ran up against a buzzsaw in another Bennett from St. Ed's, but McKinley, what a great season, and he's still going to state. Uh, again, as I said earlier, the most improved wrestler in Northwest Ohio. You know, it's about getting down to the shot, getting down to Columbus. Cole McKinley's a state qualifier, and his head down to Columbus. Jeremy Ginter continues his work. Uh, boy, what a monster this kid is from Whitmer, looking to do even better than he did last year when he placed third at state. Yeah, domination by Ginter on top again wrestles as he's a uh, full-grown man. And how about Ty Cobb, another full-grown man taking on Del Santa from St. Ed's. Ty Cobb ends up with that upset victory. Boy, Cobb, I mean, he really dominated the proceedings against yeah. Del Santa. Great, great leg attacks for Cobb. Uh, kudos to the Oregon staff for getting him down and the rest of the Clay Eagles down to the Columbus. All right, so St. Ed's wins the title overall, but Perrysburg sending nine wrestlers down to the shot, so what a great way to finish up their season.